Proverbs 18. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. With the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Here's the big one. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Which one do you love? Whichever one you're saying is the one you love. You love life. Then you better talk life. Deuteronomy 30, 19. I place before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, you choose life that you and your seed may live. How do you choose life? With life words. And you have to go crosswise of death words. And if you're trained by the world, to talk, you will talk yourself to death, and it will come somewhere around 70 or 80, because that's what was pronounced as a curse in the wilderness, and God never said anything about 70 or 80, three score and 10, four score. He never said anything about that. They said that out there in the desert. They kept saying, he called us out here to kill us. He's going to kill us in this desert. And finally, he, he, did, he didn't have any choice. He had no choice. He's in covenant with his people. And he said, what I have, what I keep hearing in my ears will come on you. Amen. You're not getting out of this desert over 80 years old. And some of them in perfectly good health fell, their bones fell. God said in Genesis 6, 3, the days of man shall be 120 years. And it, the Hebrew says his natural life will be 120 years. God said that. So that's just as much the word of God as by my stripes ye were healed. You can stand on that in faith. Amen. It'll change your health. It'll, it'll change all kinds of stuff. The time to get on it is when you're about 20. Amen. But it'll work. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't actually see that. Um, Keith Moore started teaching on it, and Gloria got hold of it. She was teaching it in healing school. And I'm sitting back there behind the curtain. I'm listening. And, and, and of course, I grabbed hold of it right quick. But I was, I was sitting there, and oh, the presence of God. He said, Kenneth, and that, he made the statement, that's just as much my word as 1 Peter 2, 24. I said, yes, sir. yeah, it is. Yes, sir. He said, the anointing of this ministry came on you when you were 30. I said, yes, sir. He said, were you as anointed when you were 30 as you were when you were 40? I said, no, sir. He said, it's the same anointing. I said, well, yes, sir, but I, but I was growing. And he just went up the, he just went up the line 10 years at a time. He said, when you were 40, 40 were you as anointed as you were when you were 50? I said, no. Were you as anointed when you were 50 as you were when you were 60? I said, no, sir. He said, Kenneth, I need you. He said, I'm, I'm asking you because I need you. to take hold of this with me. I said, yes, sir, I'm yours to command. He said, I have anointings planned from 80 to 90, from 90 to 100, from 100 to 110, from 110 to 120. And he said, I don't have any of them in the earth. Can you imagine 
What a strong faith anointing. Can you imagine the kind of faith Brother Hagin had been walking in if he had lived to be, be 110 years old? He said, I need you to. Oh, I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll do it. I take that. Well, it began to work in my life. I noticed, I had noticed already that when I reached 70, all of my mother's kinfolks except one sister, my mother included, died in their 70s. And I, I, I take more after my mother's side of the family than I did my dad's. Now, my dad lived to be 96. And um, so I got a little help on that side. <laughs> but I noticed when I reached 70, uh, my, my, physical, uh, my physical body started taking after its, its own natural DNA. And I, I, I just started to notice that I'm, I'm going downhill. And, and the Lord arrested me. He said, now, Kenneth, your DNA is the same as mine. He said, you were born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible by the Word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. He said, your DNA and mine are exactly the same. Now, he said, start looking to that spiritual DNA. And I, now I'm claiming 120. And, and I noticed when I started doing that, my physical body was taking on old age symptoms. But all of a sudden, here came my spiritual DNA. And, and it, was, it, was just, it was just like a, a mighty bird just flew in there and just caught me. And I began to increase. And I've been on the, I've been on the upflow ever since. And like I, like I told you, the, the, like I told you this morning, I've been, in, I've been in pain for 20 years. And it's my dumb fault. You understand that? Not God's. Well, I don't understand that you preaching on it. Hey, healing is not a reward. I have to take care of my body just the same as anybody else does. I have to take care of this. The power is in the tongue. I begin to confess it and hold on to it. And things gradually. See, these things are accumulative. What you said four years ago in spiritual life is only a second ago. And it's cumulative. And it builds up in there. And it begins a process. And it works. Those words are working. And they're 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 working. And if you, if you won't foul them up, if you won't go in there and say, well, I just knew all the time this is crazy. It don't work for me. It just did. <laughs> huh? And it'll work. And it'll work. And faith, Gloria calls it faith boiling over. Faith cometh and cometh and cometh and cometh. And I latched onto this in, in November of 2015 in Columbus, Ohio. And I said, I've had all this back pain I'm going to have. And I begin to confess it. And I begin to stand on 120 and begin to work it and press it and get into so much pain sometimes. I'd say, I don't, I'm not moved by what I feel. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm moved by what I believe. And just keep saying it and just keep saying it and just keep saying it. All you have to say is, I believe I receive my healing. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to add something to it. Keep it simple. 
I believe I receive my healing. And then call it what it is. I believe in this case, I believe I receive my healing for spinal stenosis. I believe I receive my healing for inflammation of the sciatic nerve. I believe I receive it. Go to bed at night, you nearly come to tears. Just put a smile on my faith and go to sleep with faith. And it it had eased down. And by morning, I'd be feeling all right. I'd get out of bed and it'd take a couple of hours and it'd start eating on me again, you know. No, no, no. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I believe I receive my healing. 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 I believe I receive. Now, Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for it. I want to thank you for it. I believe I receive my healing. I believe I receive my healing. I believe I receive my healing. And I had my little list. And I noticed one of them got checked off back there kind of early. And, and it, it's a process. And if you're not careful, you won't realize it's gone. And I thought one day, that hadn't hurt me in a long time. Yeah! <laughs> now I'm still preaching glory to God. And I come under the anointing and that pain had stopped. And then, well, you know. Quit? You gotta be kidding. I ain't got time to quit. I'm not old enough to quit. So I just kept on and 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 just kept on. And And I woke up one morning, the 11th day of August, 2017, and I had no pain. And I don't have any pain right now. I've had no pain since. (laughs) Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. 20 years. 20 years. And I have no pain. Thank you very much. So I'm better shape at 81 than I was at 60. (laughs) Hallelujah. (laughs) Now, Micah 5, 3. Look at your index. And go to Micah 5. If you have one of our Bibles, it's on page 1105. It's back there where the pages are stuck together. (laughs) Verse 2 But thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, Though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Now, who was born in Bethlehem? Jesus of Nazareth. 715 years later. Now, those words of God that came out of Micah's mouth dominated nations, dominated armies, moved peoples, and put an idea in the mind of Caesar, he thought it was a good idea for them to go to Bethlehem to pay taxes. 
No, Micah did that. <laughs> it dominated the words of God's power, faith-filled words dominated life on this planet for 715 years until Jesus was born on the second that he was to be born. Amen. Hey, people, do you, can, can, can you, can we get it, just the slightest bit of a concept of the God to which we belong? Amen. That has the hairs on your head numbered. That's the reason you ought to claim the original count. Glory. Brother. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. You have to watch your words. You have to watch your words. Amen. People call things that be not as though they were. God blesses and calls things that be not as though they were. The devil curses and calls things that be not as though they were. And you look in the mirror. Dang, I'm losing my hair. Bye, hair. Yep. Call things to be not as though they were. Cursed, call things to be not as though they were. I look in the mirror. I did this tonight when I was getting ready to come. And I hadn't said it in a few days, and I looked in there, and I said, glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hair, grow. Now, see, back some years ago, I inquired of the Lord for words to say. Jesus said, my words are not my own. It's the Father within me. He does the work. Hair, grow. Dark brown. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thick be. <laughs> Jesus said when he was on earth, not a hair on my head of perish. My hairs are numbered and I claim my original count. Glory. <laughs> What I had when I was 30. You said 30 is, 80 is my new 30. Hallelujah. Instead of cursing yourself. It's right here. Now, Malachi 3, last book in the old covenant, the first covenant. Malachi 3, 13. You're, now, remember what he said in, in 10, bring you all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out blessing that there shall not be room enough to, to receive and I'll rebuke the devourer for your sake. Now, wait a minute. The devourer has been rebuked. But if you're a tither, you don't qualify for that scripture. Now, let me show you what's happening. If you're not a tither, go to the 13th verse. Your words have been stout against me. Wait, wait, this is God talking. Amen. I'm bound up because of your words. Your words are stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet you say, what have we spoken so much against thee. You have said it is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance? Or what profit is it that we tithe? Well, this sowing tithing stuff doesn't work for me. Those are stout words against God. Huh? Don't be 
mocked. Galatian. <laughs> I love it. You hear me read it a lot on Fridays because Friday's offering day on the Believer's Voice of Victory. Verse 6, let him that's taught in the Word communicate or, or, or respond to him that teaches in all good things. Don't be deceived. That's what the, I had it crossed with that deceive is the word I was looking for. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. The sower soweth the Word. God is not mocked. Word seeds. You cannot escape it. There is no escaping it. It dominates the earth. And again, that's the reason why God's Word is so precious. You can put His words in your mouth, and it don't make any difference how you feel. You put His words in His mouth, in your mouth, and His promises all of His promises in Him are yes and amen. It doesn't say wait a while. It doesn't say yes, maybe, and no, maybe. No, it said yes and amen. amen. Now, what is it about that you don't understand? Yes and amen. But you have to pray those words. You can't pray your words. You have to pray his words. Make his words your prayer words. You start off with find the answer to your prayer before you ever pray it. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.